Hello and welcome to Eco Farm. This is episode six, and uh, this ec- episode is going to be pretty much wholly devoted to a new venture that we are starting. Hopefully, it'll make us quite a bit of money over time. The first thing I wanted to show you was the fact that the store has put in a silo for us to collect to collect some uh, or where we can collect uh, any supplies that we need. And as you saw, a very rustic windmill to power it. It doesn't need much power. In any case, they put that in in the last couple of uh, days and uh, we did have to pay uh, a little bit of money for it, about 2,000 euros, 2,500 euros, I think. And uh, yeah, so we got that done. And um, particularly now, um, when we are starting off with our new little different ventures on the farm, um, we will need to buy in some raw material until we can produce our own. So this thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting up greenhouses so that we can supply some fresh fruit and vegetables. Well, we're going to start with the vegetable side. The fruit side will come a little bit later. And I'm going to put up two greenhouses, one small one, which does, I suppose, a fruit, yes, watermelons. So uh, watermelons will be one of the greenhouses that we will be putting up. And then we'll do one for a larger one for a different crop of vegetables. So it'll be the normal strawberries, which I well, that's a berry, but I suppose it could be classed as a fruit. And uh, and that'll be lettuce and tomatoes. I think it does onions as well, and cucumber, I think. In any case, so that is going to be our first, I would say, building adventure. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Any event. So we're going to try and put the map around the fairly flat area here around the farm. And I think the, f- the big one we should be able to fit in here just in front of these trees and opposite the workshop. Maybe a little bit further down, I think. I don't want to be be doing too much landscaping in this area because it's uh, luckily it's fairly flat right so there's our first production done that is um, our big greenhouse so the inputs into these greenhouses are um, water of course um, compost and fertilizer that we're not going to be using the normal fertilizer that um, that uh, would be contrary 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 to our our, our ethos of uh, of eco farming. But we'll be using um, plant and vegetable a plant and vegetable fertilizer. So f- fertilizers made of, of from plant and vegetable matter. And that is a new fertilizer that um, that allows us to do this. So, uh, yeah, pretty nifty, really. And one of the one of the byproducts of producing our vegetables and watermelons and such is that we do get. Um, vegetable matter which is all the bits and pieces uh, the organic um, well, organic in terms of uh, its plant matter so the plant matter residues the leaves and such like and that can be collected and we will put up a composting pit which works very similar to silage and uh, we'll see that as we go along as well so we get the compost that we can generate from our own buildings. 
and as we go down the line we will be um, putting up well I, I hope to be putting up a uh, a plant matter type of um, operation let's put it that way that'll be something that I'll make up myself I don't think there's anything in the game as such that'll do that but when we've got enough greenhouses to supply both compost and another venture we will uh, we will make something up that represents making um, animal and uh, not animal uh, vegetable and um, fruit fertilizer I think the volumes that you get for that are not substantial from the fertilizer making the fertilizer it's um, fairly small um, and can handle something like greenhouses and that but I don't think it'll be able to handle fertilizing fields so we'll have to still make our own um, our own um, fertilizer for fertilizing the field in other words we'll have to make manure somewhere along the line that's going to be the big spinner and I have an idea for producing manure and we'll get into that in the next most probably the next episode actually in any case seeing as we've got the two greenhouses up we'll have to um, supply some energy to the greenhouses so we'll put up another panel we'll put up one for the two of them seeing as the small one is quite small and it'll be also be using a lot of just natural sun energy during the summer time but in the winter time we must probably have to top up the energy somewhere along the line and of course we need some lights in there so yeah one panel should be enough to supply those two fantastic so we've got those up now the next thing we have to do is uh, we need to um, we need to get a water trailer so we need to put some water into well I suppose we would imagine a substantial amount of water into the greenhouses so we'll get a water trailer luckily the water supply is not too far away from the from the greenhouses so we'll pop down to the store and we'll go and get ourselves a trailer So I did get a uh, slightly more as we go past the bank on the right hand side there. Um, some more information, we'll have a credit line of up to um, 450,000 or 460,000 euros available to us to draw down when necessary. Um, if we don't need, I don't think we're going to need it for this operation, we've got quite a bit of income from the from the hay so that's that's good right so I'm just going to pick up my trusty water trailer should work pretty well I like this water trailer I use it quite often it's probably a little bit like my um, a little bit like the the baler it's one of my favorite mods simply because it takes a good amount of um, water 10,000 liters it's small and compact its biggest drawback is that it doesn't have any brakes on the um, on the trailer so it tends to push around the, uh, the tractor a little bit on our way up to the back to the farm I'm going to establish a little venture we're going to put up a or start a farmers market in the town We'll put it in the middle of the grass square and this is where we'll be able to sell a lot of our product from our greenhouses. And of course it adds another dimension to the to the village area, the town area. Fantastic. Nice and a little, little bit of extra colour to the town area. 
I don't like the cement just around there. We don't have a lot of cement. I seem to be getting a bit of stuttering when I'm doing um, landscaping at the moment. Um, not sure what that's about, but in any event, I think you may have just noticed it slightly there. Right, there we go. We'll just put in there. there you can see the bit, bit more stuttering. Well, I'll have to sort that out somewhere, somewhere along the line, but that's just beside the point. Right, we'll just do up the... Well, add the grass areas in. There will be a little bit of cement or dirt or whatever it might be that will show up. Doesn't seem to want to paint there for some reason. Yep, not having a In any case, we'll just fill it up as much as best we can for now. Sometimes we just need to eventually restart the game and get it going, but it's detracting from what we're doing. Yeah, so this will be where we sell. Well, we'll still compete with the other with the other shops, of course, but generally speaking, um, I would think think things like the onions and cucumbers would only be able to sell here but yeah no that, that's um, just an addition to the town uh, continuing to endeavor to integrate and serve the town as best we can right we'll come back to that when it's working a little bit better it's mostly done that can just be the area where we deliver stuff to, I suppose. Well, it is in the delivery area. Now that that's done, let's get back up to the farm and get working on our new greenhouses so we can get them up and producing and we can start delivering some fruit and vegetables to the town. And we're just about back at, at the farm, get the trailer filled up with water. Oops, a bit of a dip there. Didn't notice that before. We'll have to uh, sort that out over time. Right, so this trailer fills up fairly quickly. Not sure how much they take. Uh, I would imagine the small greenhouse doesn't take a huge amount. Right, I think what we'll do is we'll just create a bit of a, take a bit of the grass out, let's put, that, put it that way, around the greenhouses and make a bit of a, a pathway through, a little bit of a working road, let's put it that way. We'll just try and get more or less the same dirt going. There we go. Yes, yeah, so the farm pretty much developing now. The chickens, first eggs delivered. Hopefully in the next month, uh, in June, we'll be delivering our first fruit and vegetable into town and some to the farmer's market, hopefully. And I've got some plans for, as I say, for producing, or making, a, and becoming eventually becoming self-sufficient. Hopefully, on um, on manure. I don't know whether we'd be able to produce enough to be completely self-sufficient as we increase the field numbers that we need for the different ventures that I have have in mind. But yeah, that's. Uh, down the line. Just trying to make it look like we've integrated into the surroundings compared to what was. Put another track to join up the main track down at the bottom here. 
Yeah, I'm not quite sure we're going to have to build a, compa a compost silo, I think you would call it that, for producing compost once we've got enough uh, plant material to, um, being produced. It's probably a couple of months before we have a reasonable amount to get that started. But we'll see how it goes. Right, filling up water now. Let's see how much this takes. So we've got 10,000 in there. Luckily it fills up quite quickly, so that's not too much of a problem. So what did that look like? Around about the... Well, I wasn't quite sure. Didn't quite catch it, but still, that's not a problem. It's not it's not 10,000 litres, let's put it that way. So this is probably going to take substantially more. We'll f put the rest in there. And then we'll... Uh, and get another tanker and uh, fill that up and then of course every month we'll have to just keep on top topping up the water keep things working so we are going to have to buy in the compost obviously we don't have any compost at the moment so we will need to buy that in and we'll also need to buy in the um, plant plant fertilizer because it does require those elements to to be efficient well basically to, pre to produce fruit really the other thing you'll notice just as we drove past there is that we have had our electrical charging station put in and uh, you'll notice the um, wind generators on top of the of the um, workshop you can see to, just to the left you can see the shadow came there yeah I didn't uh, record it that area, um, that job let's put it this way when we when we had people doing that there so we put up two wind generators at the top one will be to replace the solar panel that properly installed on the workshop roof and we'll get that sorted in the near future as well the guys from the they'd install the um, solar panels will be up come and take that down so that's good hopefully we'll pop on past and we'll be able to see that trying to get this trailer reasonably straight right so the next thing we need to do is we get our trailer can put some sides on it and we will use our, um, our shop silo to draw down some um, some compost which we've asked them to put in yeah, yeah, you can see them in all their glory, the little wind generators. So the, the one is to supply energy to the um, to the fueling station, and the other one is to aid with that and also um, keep the workshop going. Right, so we'll put on the sides, and we'll. Hop back into the tractor. Hopefully, I'll remember to uh, hook up the trailer this time. Yes, <laughs> don't often do that. Any events? Here we go. Hopefully, this will work. Try and get the right angle. Hopefully they've put the compost in and I can just take 
take it down. Yep, I saw the compost. Fabulous. Get some into the small greenhouse first. This probably won't take a full load. This little trailer is pretty useful for our operation at this at this stage. Kind of liking it. Yep, still a little bit left there. that we built, we're still going to go over the bank and into the bushes, <laughs> uh, we'll sort that, we'll sort that out, we'll, getting all tongue tied there again, we'll sort that out as we go along, <laughs> oh dear, yeah, yeah, you can see it's a much bigger operation, yeah. another load. It's relatively inexpensive. It's probably cheaper than us producing it, but we do want to be as self-sufficient as possible. Oops, what did we hit there? That's not good. It's not good for the tractor. Not good for our cider. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> oh dear. Right, another load there. Yeah, relatively inexpensive. I suppose it depends on how quickly we get through them, but... Yep, we'll see. I mean, in time we'll definitely be producing our own compost back from, from these um, greenhouses. Once again, it might not take care of all our requirements. We may still have to buy in from other people from the store basically but we won't worry about that just yet We've got to get things going We've got to get producing this is the whole thing it's all part of our startup costs having to buy in raw material right so we'll just leave it at that for now in terms of supplying the compost that should keep us going for at least a day and then we'll keep topping it up and uh, seeing how much we need for for production as we go along over the next couple of months I suppose we should start, start uh, thinking about getting ourselves a more a more um, rigid place to stay so, um, I don't often show it, but uh, we're living around the back of that rocky outcrop just at the back of the sheds here in a, well, a fairly comfortable tent. But uh, yeah, we have to start thinking about a, a proper home for ourselves, but let's get, let's get things going first. At the moment I'm quite comfortable in my little tent. Right, here we go. Now we need to get the fertilizer in. And I'll get the shop to deliver these uh, as well, so we don't have to traipse on down to the shop. Now where is it? It's probably going to be in pallets, not big bags. Let's have a look. Yeah, there it is there. Fruit and vegetable fertilizer. So I think we'll put in one into the small one and two into the big one. So we get three of those delivered. The 
shop will kindly de deliver them up to the farm and we'll go and pick them up there. We need to put the front end loader on the tractor because they are in IBCs. So just drop off the, the weight and put it onto the back. Yes, I'm not sure exactly how much we'll be getting every month from the fruit and vegetable greenhouses, but we'll soon find out. I'm sure it'll be profitable eventually. And we'll also have to see whether we need to increase the number of greenhouses that we have. To be able to supply the um, the town. And I suppose we could uh, also um, eventually supply more than uh, some of the fruits to to selling on the global market. But that's uh, a long way off, I think. I think it'll be quite a while before we uh, are self-sufficient or the town is self-sufficient or fully supplied by ourselves. We don't own the town, so <laughs> we can't say the town will be self-sufficient with us supplying them. But uh, yeah, so as long as we can fully supply the town with, with what they need, we can... Um, can then think to sell elsewhere. Right, let's get this in first of all. I'm presuming of course that the so it's a little bit of a well a little bit of a guessing game um, as to what the require full full requirements would be. I should have looked first to take away the guessing element. Should have looked at the production cycle, but uh, I got over excited as I normally do when I'm doing something new. <laughs> we'll put these two into the big one, get the production going. And then by early next month, we should have some product to sell. Vegetables do grow fairly quickly. Watermelons a little bit slower. But uh, um, the watermelons, the greenhouse for the watermelons is a very specialized uh, greenhouse and that's why I have a, a separate one. It, all it does is the watermelons and we don't need a huge supply of watermelons at this stage. We do have room to expand there should we decide to to increase the size but for now we'll I think the small one will be able to keep up with production and supply for the town. Let's get the second one in. Yeah, quite excited about this new venture. Hope, hopefully it works and hopefully it becomes profitable. May not be profitable until we can start producing our own inputs, our own compost and such. It's going to dep depend of course on on how much it produces in a day. It should produce a fair, a fair amount. Right, that's that all done. Let's get the production going. Right, let's have a look. So we've got tomatoes, lettuce, strawberries, green peppers, cucumbers and onions. We'll get them all going. Eventually we'll have a greenhouse for each of them 
and then we've got the watermelon, the small one there, we'll get that going. That one's fairly well stocked. We'll have to put some more in tomorrow into the large greenhouse, keep it going. Should last us for a month though. Have a quick walk through. Have a look at uh, all the different crops growing. Yeah, very nice. Aspenorma looks really good. Here's another bow to our string added. In any case, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Do hope you've enjoyed it. Do hope you will like and subscribe if you haven't already. It does help me out. Once again, thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next episode. Cheerio!